What's up, AK family? We are cruising on the harmony of the seas, and we are here in St. Thomas today, the beautiful island of St. Thomas. Yet again. Yet again. Last time we were here was in November, mm -hmm. and we're glad to be back. Today, we are actually going to go to know, the island of St. John. Yep, yep, so yep. we are very excited. We're gonna be doing this on our own today. So you can do it through an excursion with Royal, but we wanna do it on our own, and we're gonna show you guys how to do it. So let's go. Just before we leave, make sure if you are seeing us for the very first time, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell just so you know when we are posting. And also follow us on Instagram and TikTokity so you can see all of our fun reels and TikToks that we have come up with. We will show you guys how we get to St. John. Just stay tuned. Right off the bat, guys, it is a beautiful day. A lot of tourists. If you guys do not know, here in St. Thomas, there are two ports. Typically, the ships go to Haven site, which is where we're used to going, but the mega ships cannot fit over there, so they have to come over here to Crown Bay, where we are now. So this is our first time here, so we'll show you guys, you know, around a little bit if you've never been over to this port area. So, something a little new, you know, shaking it up a little bit. You all can see, it's a lot of people coming off of the Harmony. It's like more people than we've seen get off on a, of a ship ever this year. If you booked an excursion with Royal Caribbean, it seems like this is the meeting area. It sounds like it's a party over here. Like, where's my bloggers at? Where's my bloggers at? <laughs> we got you covered here, beautiful St. Thomas U.S. Virgin Islands. We got a superstar bloggers right here. Show the whole world that you guys are in St. Thomas U.S. Virgin Islands right here. Where's my bloggers at, everybody? She's talking to you. Superstar right here, yeah. superstar right here as well. Right here on St. Thomas U.S. Virgin Islands. We got you covered, baby. <laughs> We love a warm welcome. Hey, shout out, you know. We love a warm welcome. Listen, listen. We're just going to the right. There's a sign here to shopping and taxis. We got to catch a taxi. I will say that this port area is more developed than Haven site, but I mean, it's just nice in its own way. Looks like there's a lot going on over here at the port, which is great. Here are the prices for the taxis from here to wherever it is that you're looking to go. We're going to Red Hook. So that's where we're gonna go catch the ferry. And we're over here at the taxi section. You can also do an island tour if you want. They have all the buses, you know how it is, y'all. They've got the open air buses and stuff if you wanna do a tour. Yeah, they gotta sit in the, in the actual car. Here, you, you hold this for a second? Ride. That's double. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we are here, VIP city. <laughs> On our way to Red Hook. To Red Hook. Yeah. We're on the way. On the way with some AC. Yes. You no, know, I cannot complain about this. Right. You know, it's a little Feels heated good out in here. here. All right, you guys, we are here at the ferry terminal. It took us a long time to get here. We'll talk about that later, maybe when we get to St. John, but it took us much longer than expected to get here but we're here and we are trying to get some tickets so we can get on this ferry the ferry is every hour and we're cutting it close to the next hour before we'll have to wait another hour so we are going here to buy some tickets there's also a qr code i didn't know you could buy tickets online i would have done that i didn't realize that you could but here's the qr code if anyone is interested but we've got restrooms over here but we're catching the ferry thankfully Ooh, thank god we're so close but there's a spot to wait and hang out if you're waiting for the next one you guys it's like two o'clock on the dot but here's the terminal we just bought our tickets from right here here we go Like, we getting up too. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we are officially in St. John. John. 
It's a very quick ride, and now we gotta get to the beach. So that's St. Thomas right there. That's just where we came from. We're at a new island. Yep. Yeah. This is so exciting. We gotta uh, catch a taxi to Trunk Bay. It's really close to here, but, oh, did we even tell you guys? We're going to Trunk Bay here on St. John. So we are stepping right off the dock. This is so gorgeous. I'm so excited. This is beautiful. It's so quaint. Oh my gosh, it looks just like how it does like in the pictures and stuff. So let's go. All right, guys, we just arrived here at Trunk Bay. Bay. Mm -hmm. um, the ride wasn't too bad. He was kind of zooming. After he we was flying. Off of a couple of people. Yeah. Just nice. Like we we were able to see a different vantage point, in which y'all saw. The um, view from the view above. Is crazy. This is a national park here at the Virgin Islands. So the entrance fee for adults is five dollars per person, and kids are free. When you first walk in and you walk down this corridor here. You can come over to the right and they have restrooms if you need to, you know, use the bathroom, change. They have showers over here. They have water fountains here. And they have a spot where you can refill your water bottles too, which is great if you want water. It's like they have a stand here if you want to rent some snorkel gear. Oh, you can get chairs here too. Um, and all that stuff over here. It's like chairs are going for $10 a person. And mask, fins, and snorkel gear. It looks like it's $10 per person. It said that there was the $5 per person, but there was nobody there. So we just came right on in. We love free 99 But when you come over here to the right, there are places where you can get food and all kinds of stuff like that over here. And they do even have lockers right over here. So Trunk Bay Beach Bar snack shack and retail you can get some food and stuff over here hi <laughs> we love the friendly people we love the friendly people mm -hmm. all right y'all we are here wow which way do we go it is gorgeous out here beautiful look at this wow looks like that's where all the good snorkeling is over there oh this is the softest sand I've ever felt in my life. Any beach I've been to, anywhere. This sand is so soft. Oh yes, it does feel good. Oh, look how clear the water is. Ooh, I know it's gonna go. <laughs> I take back what I said. But look how beautiful it is out here, y'all. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. The water is so clear. Ah, almost fell. All right, we brought our own snorkel gear. We have our own mask. That's what I meant to say. And we have our own vest that I just bought from Amazon. Mine is pink. We're about to go out here and see what's in the water. And just like that, we have finished our snorkeling excursion here at Trunk Bay um, here on the island of St. John. And the snorkeling was fantastic take our word for it it was really nice here at trunk bay yeah um and you can see it's just beautiful out here this is a nice place to come when you come to st thomas and or st john all the beaches it looks like here at st john are gorgeous mm -hmm. the ones we saw passing by was like oh my goodness oh my goodness when we're passing them so yep. it's a national park and they're trying to preserve what they have here because it is a beautiful place it's a beautiful island as soon as four o'clock hit everybody kind of dipped we did see a lot of royal caribbean towels so i'm sure a lot of people are headed back to the ship i'm sure most of these people here are like people that are actually staying but you guys this is so beautiful i cannot recommend this beach enough and we did our snorkeling well, i hope you guys can hear me yeah, so windy we went all the way out back this way you can't even see how long this is but we went all the way back there and there was so much to see we didn't even get to do this other side so that just means we gotta come back it's actually illegal here to use um sunscreen that's not reef friendly and so they actually have some that they can provide to you which is great i don't want to waste it i don't need to but they do have like mineral sunscreen i'm sure it don't work for this kind of skin if you know what i mean but it's better to look white and pasty than to not have sunscreen on at all. Truly it is. Like, I'm not even kidding, y'all. Sunscreen's really important. But look how beautiful this is. As we are headed back to the front 
to catch a taxi back to the ferry. We made it back to the ferry. It's a very short drive from Trunk Bay to where the ferry is. But you guys, our van had a flat tire when we were on the way. He pulled over and we were like, okay, hold on, hold on. What's going on? And he got out the car and he was like, I have a flat. And so then he had, I guess, a friend come and pick us up and bring us back to the ferry, no charge. But uh, imagine if that would have taken a long time or something like that. Like, I don't know y'all, but we're here and that's all that matters. This time we're gonna sit at the top instead of sitting at the bottom. So we can have some pretty views going back to St. Thomas. We're back at the port. Um, we had an awesome taxi driver. We wanted to see about the little dining uh, spot that we, we saw initially. Yeah, so when we were here on the way to St. John, we passed a restaurant over here that was like a vegan restaurant. So we want to see what it's talking about. But now that we're here back at the port, Stay tuned for when we get back on the ship so we can do like a full debriefing yeah. of like our experience because I have like some more information for you guys. I want to give like a comparison with the Royal Caribbean shore excursion versus us doing it on our own. So stay tuned for that. But we're back and we have like an hour and a half yeah. before we have to be back on the ship. So we have some time to, to spare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's hopefully the restaurant is still open. Please, please be open because they got vegan food or veggie food so i'm excited to see what that food talking about i think i want to start a challenge how many of y'all want to try a, a vegetarian diet I'm, I'm making an appeal count there, me out there are two or three folks watching this right now that need to just give up that meat okay and, and have a vegetarian diet some folks need a vegan diet i am extending this invitation to you come to the other side and have a vegetarian and or vegan diet okay and let the church say amen i'm about to get me a frozen drink over here all right y'all this is the restaurant it is called speedy redemption it is at crown bay center building g unit 7. so this is it let's go in is it open it's open all right guys so i just finished a half of the sandwich that we got you didn't eat all of it I didn't, because i wanted kind of taste because it's really really good it? it's in my bag oh. It's really, really good, so y'all have to wait to see Kai's response. I thought you ate it all. No, 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 no. I saved it oh. so you could so, so you could eat it. Oh. We were just talking to mommy. Let me take out my AirPods, because I was just on FaceTime with my mom and my brother and sister. And now we're about to get back on the ship. This ship is so big. It's like when you're standing by it like this thing, you're like, wow. This is a big ship. Yeah, we gotta get back on. And we'll give you guys our thoughts of our whole day once we get back to the room. All right, y'all, we are back in the room. And Aaron has this lentil burger that he wants me to I try. Sa I saved it and I wanted to eat it, y'all. I, I thought you ate it. Mm, I'm not vegan. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And that's so good. Now that we are back in the room, we can give you all an overview of our DIY excursion to St. John. We went from Crown Bay, which is this port. We had to take a taxi from here to Red Hook Ferry. We had to buy tickets round trip for the ferry to get to St. John. And when we got to St. John, we had to take a taxi to Trump Bay and back to the ferry. And then we had to take a taxi to bring us back here to the port back to the ship all in all all the taxi rides and the um ferry tickets it was fifty dollars per person not bad at all mm -hmm. we made good time on everything the only hiccups that we had i feel like were in the beginning we weren't taken directly to the ferry we got in a taxi that was stopping at Koki Beach first mm -hmm. and then taking us to the ferry and the guy was rushing to get us there in time so we wouldn't have to wait another, another hour, hour for, for the, the ferry. next ferry. So we recommend, if you do it yourself, we recommend that you um, reserve or get a private taxi. Yes. So you can go from point A to point B yes. and not point A 
to point A1 and point A2 to right. point A3. All in all, you know, we, we got to where we needed to go in the time that we needed to get there. Um, and we were able to spend a good amount of time at Trunk, uh, Trunk Bay. Bay. Mm -hmm. It was very beautiful. It was. The snorkeling. Very beautiful. Snorkeling I, was great. Like, I'm, I hate that we didn't have the right stuff for us to show you guys mm -hmm. footage underwater. It was, it was really so nice. clear. There was so much coral. It was an underwater, since it was a national park, they had an underwater trail. trail. Mm -hmm. So they had like cinder blocks underwater. They had like facts about the reef and stuff underwater. It mm -hmm. was really cool and I wish we could have shown you. But if you like to snorkel, definitely recommend going there. If you just like a nice beautiful beach with the softest sand ever, definitely check it out. The only con to Trunk Bay I would say is that there's no shade. In very little to no mm -hmm. shade. But it was such a beautiful place. I'm very glad that we went. I would go again. It's much easier to get there if you were at Haven Site Port. It's much closer to Red Hook Ferry. The only way we would do it again if we stopped at Crown Bay is if we had the same amount of time. We had a long port day today in St. Thomas. So that's the only way we'd do it again because we had extra time and room for error. So yeah. you have to calculate all that stuff. Royal Caribbean does offer a St. John on your own excursion that you can buy, which is pretty much, um, you take a private ferry actually from here. So you don't even have to go to the ferry. You don't have to take a taxi. They have a private ferry that goes from Crown Bay to St. John and you actually get to spend two hours there and then they bring you back here. So there are pros and cons to but it's probably more doing expensive. your own thing. I looked it up and said it was $40 per person. Oh. But that sells out really fast because that's what I was going to buy for us, but it sold out. So I had to see what our other option was. So you know how sometimes people are like, I never do ship excursions. I always do my own excursions because it's more private and you get this. This might have been an instance where it might have been better right. to do the ship excursion. And also if something happened, then they're not going to leave you. These are things to consider that we and wanted to let you guys know. And you, as you saw, our driver on the way back blew a tire. Yeah, you got a flat tire. So that would have been on Royal time versus... Our time. Exactly. Book the uh, ship experience. Yeah. You gotta weigh it out. All in all, if we were at Haven Site Port, I would definitely, like, next time we came back to St. Thomas, I'd be like, St. John. Like, I would love to go back. That was our day in St. Thomas. We wanted to debrief you guys on all of that. We hope that you enjoyed it. And now we are getting into the evening festivities here on the Harmony of the Seas. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.